one scale bothy. Definitely the most visited bothy in the Lake District National Park and one place I've wanted to visit for a long time. The main reason most people would like to stay here is for the views. Buddermere and Crummick Water. The high style range, including haystacks near the final resting place of Alfred Wainwright. Not far from the well-known Doug's Hut, one scale bothy nestles below a little round howe and green crag. Constructed of the rocks from the surrounding scree makes this bothy extremely difficult to see and adds to the mystique of the place. Here I am at one scale Bothy, not Dubs Hood, one scale. I finally get here and there's no one here, so I've claimed it for myself. Hopefully, no one else will turn up. It's very early, it's about one o'clock, so someone may turn up, but as they say, there's no room at the inn. Uh, I'm not a mewon today, I've brought my faithful hound, Aya, and there she is. I don't normally bring her, she's too big. A frightening case she hurt her leg or something and she's not that fit. She's like a big house horse. <laughs> but she's she's loving it like I've got our nice warm coat and some dinner for her. So hopefully she looks like she's really enjoying it. It just so happens it's bonfire night and I will be having a fire tonight. I've brought some logs up and some coal. No fireworks though. Hopefully I'll be able to watch the fireworks from where I am. There's a cracking view of Buttermere and Crummick Water. Here stacks, fleet with pike, fantastic view. I don't know whether there'll be a fireworks display, there may be some fireworks going off, so I might see some, get a canny view, I guess. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea, I'm going to sit tight until it gets a little bit later, and I'll start getting some of my stuff set up. Because it is early. But just look at these views. So I'm in my hut, the dog is chilled, having a little nap, and I'm having a pot noodle, as you can see in the background. Uh, there's been two there's been two lads staying here last night, and that's who the tent belonged to, and some of the, the firewood that was left. They stayed here last night, they were going to stay here tonight, and, um, but they decided to head off to Dub's hut. Um, I think they wanted to give us me space, very kind of them. I didn't mind, but uh, a nice set of lads. So, hello from me, if you're watching, because I did tell them about my channel, and uh, hopefully they're having a watch. I'm going to have this pot noodle, and then it won't be long before five is in the hour, and it's time for a tipple. I have two little miniatures to show you. I've got some wood and some coal for the fire and there's I think them two lads have left some a big log and a couple of bits of wood so I don't think they'll mind I'll put that on the fire as well so I've got plenty of wood and it's a smaller fire than the one in Doug's hood so it should last a bit longer and it's a smaller hood so it should be very warm and toasty in here tonight but I'm going to wait till it's a little bit later to light it um, for tea I've got some restless burgers and gravy and some microwave rice without the microwave 
Bu bir kökünü ağlayarak. That's my bed. That's your bed. That... Up. Get up. Up. Get up. I lay down. So I'm all set up now. This is Aya's setup. She has a mat which is being donated by the Bothy Association. Uh, my towel for when I go swimming. Um, because if you put something down like a towel or something, she'll lie on it. Um, although she has been trying to get on my bed and is still trying, but she's not getting it, are you? You're not getting it? You're not getting it, are you? Mm. And you've, ate, you've even ate all your bait already, haven't you? Have you ate your bait? <laughs> I have uh, a different setup tonight. Hopefully I'm going to have the fire on so it's going to be nice and warm. I do have the... Um, a down sleeping bag, a nature hike one. It's supposed to be four season, but it ain't. It's not the warmest. And as always, I'm in the Seat Summit Etherlite XT insulated. Got a little cushion, and there's actually a little cushion underneath here already, like a pillar. And there's already a sleeping pad, which obviously is part of the body. That'll be getting lights lit soon, although it is quite warm in here anyway. So the fire is well and truly on its way. It's a little bit different this burner to the other one in Doug's hood. It has the um, vent control there. Now this, as far as I know, I'm no expert, but if the flue is open, which if this is straight up and down, you're letting all the air getting sucked out the chimney and it's, it's helping it burn, it's blazing it. I remember at home when I used to have a coal fire when I was little, my job to light it and we used to have a blazer and he used to pour it over the front of the fire and open the flue and it used to drag the air through and light the fire and what's called blazing it but once it's lit once it's nice and hot you don't have to worry so much about the smoke so you can close this this valve here a little bit and it sort of starves at a bit of oxygen so it burns slow um, but you can only do that once it's well and truly lit so that the smoke still goes up the chimney and not into the room because soon at the minute if it was to close that then the smoke would fill the room it's not getting dragged up the chimney obviously depending on the height of the building and how long the flue is I'm guessing it's all different you don't want to choke yourself so lesson being tonight when I go to sleep I need to open that up so it's fully opened so that any smoke will definitely go out and I don't want to die of carbon monoxide poisoning. However, in these bothies there is, you might see that, it's a CO2 alarm, very nice of them. Uh, and I know they do work, because I've pressed the button, but it is extremely loud. It will definitely wake us up. So if there is too much smoke or carbon monoxide in the room, that alarm will go off. All thanks to the Bothy Association, 
absolutely amazing people. Whoever joins that and volunteers for it and comes up here and maintains these bothies, I've said it before, first class people, first class. So, I've got the fire lit, lovely and warm, and this is probably the best bothy I've ever been in. But anyway, it's five is in the hour, I'm not actually sure what time it is. It's, I don't think it's actually even five o'clock yet, but I'm doing five is in the hour, it's time for the tipple. And my first miniature is Greenall's Blueberry Gin. I'm going to get straight into it, no messing about. It smells like refresher sweets. I'm going to have a little taste neat. Again, gin with a flavour. It, it's not nice and neat. But, as always, I do have a cup. And we're going to mix it with some Schweppes lemonade, as always. Lovely jubbly, get it in there, and let's get it down the old beak. That's all right. It's quite nice. Nothing special though. And for that reason, this is getting a four and a half. It's drinkable, but it's not that nice. But anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this and then I'll get back to you with the next one. Right, five is just see still in the hour. <laughs> not by much. And it's time for my second tipple. And I have another miniature, and it is a Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey. Now, once again, I've had this. Most people have had Jack Daniels. But I'm going to taste it on its own. It's Jack Daniels. Everybody knows it's Jack Daniels. Like a lot of people, I absolutely love Jack Daniels and Coke. And JD and Coke, I think they call it. Now let's give it a go. As always, the Jack Daniels and Coke, it's always nice. There's not a lot to be said about that. It's one of my favourites. Obviously it's not as nice as a spiced room. <laughs> but I'm going to give this a 7.2. Now I'm going to enjoy this. Next up, I'm going to cook some tea because I'm absolutely famished. Aya is very kindly cleaning out my frying pan for me. Um, she's uh, licked it into a corner. It's trapped now and now she's getting the gritty stuff off the bottom. It should be shiny new frying pan when she's done. She's a good dog. And after all that gravy and rice and She's fairly thirsty. She's having a nice drink of cold water. 
Looks like she's enjoying it. Well, that's tea done. It's boiling in here. Absolutely roasting. Eyes nice and comfy. I don't actually know how happy she is. She misses home, I think. I'm, I'm better down now. It's really comfortable in here. Uh, eye is still going up that tin. There must be some gravy flavour still in there. So once she's done with that, she'll probably settle down and lie down on the, our little bed. And she should have a bit of warmth from the fire as well. So I've took the last of the coal and logs on the fire. That should keep it going for most of the night. It was a good few hours. I've got it on chalk so it like it takes a while to burn. Good morning, happy hut goes. <laughs> uh, it's about half past six, didn't sleep too well. Don't know why, just didn't. Anyway, I'm having some coffee and I'm having some an oat burst <laughs> uh, porridge pot that somebody kindly left it. Um, so I'm gonna have it. Um, and I'm leaving the burner on just to Warm the place up a little bit and it's worked. Got a little bit of fuel there left to burn. The dog is still asleep. She was a little bit restless all night. Um, anyway, I'm gonna have my coffee, have my porridge, then head off back down to the car. This has been a fantastic um, camp last night. It was brilliant. But, um, the views, it's nice and cosy, had a lovely fire and a nice tea. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe and hit the like and drop a comment. Let us know if you've been here and what you think of this bothy. But it's, uh, I've enjoyed it and I'll catch you later. See you later.